Tink gets another chance to be the CSW Southland champion. And it happens right now. The challenger and the main event. It's all on the line. Hunter Payne said he'd fight anyone. The lunatic steps up and says he wants to fight him again. Assisted at ringside by the keeper, Eric Edwards. Ron the Lumberjack. What will happen with the lunatic now? CSW Southland heavyweight champion. Being accompanied to the ring by members of his elite A team, Johnny Wilder and Marco Anthony. He is a cowboy. Wow, this is gonna be an explosive main event. Two men with no love lost for each other whatsoever. A Chicago street fight couldn't end it. What will happen now? The title's on the line. Wild freaks to the ring. Elite Payne's biggest and most fearless warrior of them all. Hell's Cowboy Hunter Payne puts the title on the line. And Marco Anthony, obviously not happy with his manager. This is it, the main event. It's for the CSW Southland Heavyweight Championship. Hunter Payne, the second and longest reigning CSW Southland champion in history. The first champion only held the title for a matter of a few minutes. Hunter Payne looks bigger and better than ever. And Braun the Lumberjack, with that extra distraction, could be the one thing that might prevent Hunter Payne from retaining the title. A lot of variables in this one. We've seen the main events here before. We've seen the six man tags with Mike Newman. And this is the match that the fans wanted to see and it's the match that Newman made. No other challenger fits the role. And look at Hunter wanting to attack Lunatic even before the bell sounds. We got a pocket of fans in the corner chanting at the keeper, Eric Edwards, and the Lunatic. Did the Lunatic just take a proverbial whiz all over Braun the Lumberjack's shirt? That's a new shirt, you know. Main event for the title. The stakes have been raised, and Lutefano, the referee for this big battle. The bell is sounded, we're underway. Hunter Payne, the second reigning champion, has been champion ever since the first dissension event, which was in 2013 in September. He's been champion for over a year and a half. Hunter Payne had a victory with Marco Anthony against Lunatic and Braun the Lumberjack. That was just six days ago in the Chicago street fight, but that was a no disqualification anything goes bout. This match is a traditional singles bout. It's different, and with all of these extra bodies around ringside, it adds to the complexity of the formula of what happens here. Hunter Payne muscles Lunatic in the corner easily. Clean break, forget about it. Lunatic goes right after his eyes. Too much action to follow, but it's the Lunatic taking control of the big man. The Lunatic is not intimidated by Hunter Payne, his size at all whatsoever. The lunatic using some of his own martial arts skills to throw that thrusting chop right up against the bottom of the chin of Hunter Payne. And now look at this, the additional members of the asylum, the keeper and Braun the Lumberjack assisting while Hunter Payne is down. by the lunatic. I haven't seen Hunter Payne knocked off of his feet like that in a long time. That's 
Some say the Asylum were the single reason why Elite Pain lost the tag team titles. Wow, what power by the Lunatic to suplex the big man, but no effect! Hunter Payne is standing! Oh wow, Hunter Payne crowning his head with multiple right hands. This is it, the main event, as Hunter sends it to the big crushing boot across the side of the face. The Lunatic might have been wiped out, but a two count only. This is a match that I think Lunatic has to win. The match that they need to win, with so much at stake. This isn't gonna be pretty. It's the scariest against the strongest. Running a smash! Hunter Payne running down the lunatic, trying to cover him with one boot. Not enough. The tainted relationship between Wild and Elite Payne. How will that formulate in this match? Marco lost already. Wild not helping. Why is Wild not choking the man while he's down? That's something he would have traditionally done. Look at this. Hunter Payne riding the lunatic, standing over his body with all three hundred pounds, draped across him in the middle rope. Everyone knows about the recent accidental death of Perro Aguayo Jr. in Mexico against Rey Mysterio. And I hope we don't see anything that violent here, but anything's possible. Big elbow drop by Hunter Payne. And another one. The champion in control, holding him down, but he doesn't have the power to keep him laid out flat on the mat. Lumberjack, the keeper. More concerned about the fans on the outside than the action inside. Hunter Payne throws the lunatic into the next other opposing corner across the ring. Misses the attack in the corner. Oh yeah! The chest cracker by the lunatic. The challenger has put down Hunter Payne and he's not moving at all. A new champion. Nope. Hunter Payne brought up that huge monstrous right arm. And you can tell Hunter Payne's right arm is heavily taped. We do not know the condition of that right arm and shoulder, but the ring wars will continue to wage on until a man makes a decision whether he can continue to fight. Lunatic sends Hunter Payne to the floor and sends the children scattering for their lives. Look at Braun the Lumberjack standing over the fallen. Hunter Payne on the outside. Marco trying to protect his partner from further abuse. Hunter Payne home for the choke bomb, the superplex, the saddle slam, the power slam. Hunter Payne is six sadistic, powerful, and relentless. But against the lunatic, that might still not be enough. This might be his most difficult test yet to date. Snapmare takeover. Lunatic keeps him down. Flipping back splash by the Lunatic. Hunter Payne, as the champion, continues the match with a very powerful, forceful upwards kick out. This is the main event, CSW Southland Wrestling, the Friday Night Bash, Friday night, March 27, 2015. We're in Bourbonnais at Legend Sportsplex for the first event of several events in 2015 for CSW Southland Wrestling. Upward thrusting shot by the Lunatic. Hunter Payne in trouble in the corner. Now he's eating him alive. He's biting on his skull, come on! Two men that will tear one another's flesh off just to win the title. That's how much the championship means to both men. Hunter Payne, power slam! That's one of his signature moves, the lunatic bridges out. 
I think Braun the Lumberjack might have uh, eaten one too many snacks out there. Children scatter for their lives. Hunter Payne and the Lunatic still going at it in this main event. They're going shot for shot. It's a slugfest inside of this ring now. And Hunter Payne's got more behind his right hands. Roots a final doing the best he can against these two warriors. Trying to maintain authority and trying to see who the better man is. Hunter Payne with a suffocating close on And there's the neck breaker. Hunter Payne again controlling the lunatic as he slowly brings him to his feet. Shoulder first into the corner goes the lunatic. Hunter Payne again. Now using both hands to choke down lunatic in the corner. Lunatic still standing, but he might be out on his own two feet. The challenger still standing as he thrusts an up kick into the chest and the heart of Hunter Payne. to throw Hunter Payne across from one side of the ring to the next. Hunter Payne put on the brakes, but Lunatic caused the second part of that reversal into the corner. Hunter still standing. Oh no! Lutefano got smothered in the corner and squashed by the champion. Death drop by the Lunatic. There's no referee in sight. The Lunatic should be the new champion right now, but there's no referee to count. This has happened before. Deja vu, it happens again. Oh, this could be bad news for Hunter Payne. Lunatic climbing all the way to the top. Oh, Marco Anthony straddles him along that top turbuckle support. We got several officials at ringside checking on Lutefano's status. Hunter Payne joins Lunatic on the ropes. Superplex! Watch out! Oh my! The hardest impact tonight at both big crash. And this time should have had the victory in hand. But again, no referee to count. What a mystery we have going down now. No referee. Hunter Payne with the superplex could have put Lunatic away right there. Now, the keeper on the ropes and Hunter Payne knocks him down out to the outside of the ring. Oh, the Lunatic attacks. Hunter Payne from behind. With a power side slam by the Lunatic. <laughs> lunatic says he's going for the big one right here as he climbs to the top. He's taking a risk. Watch out. Oh, he missed the corkscrew flipping senton backsplash. Hunter Payne, the champion, struggles to his feet. The challenger from his right knee trying to get back up. Hunter Payne going for it all. Saddle slam. Lunatic in trouble. And the Lunatic's out. Hunter Payne has wiped him out. The referee waking up now. Is that it? He can't count any further. 
What is the circumstance now? I think Rue passed out again. Rue can't count the man down. Lunatic, even after the saddle slam, has gone back up. How is this happening? Wait a minute! Wild passed the stick to the Lunatic! Oh, he crowned him in the head with the stick! Johnny Wild has provided that wand, the baton! He's, he crowned him with it! Tafano against the counts! What? The Lunatic has won the title! No way! The Asylum F1, it's clean sweep! Hunter Bates been laid out! Johnny Wilde has helped the Lunatic win the CSW Southland title! Watch out! Hunter Payne! Double close line! Down goes Braun! And the keeper! Oh, the lunatic! With the shot to the spine with the title! This match is over, but the war has just begun! The lunatic isn't done yet! We've got problems! This isn't over yet! Braun attacking the left leg and the right leg. They're stopping on his shoulder. Where is Marco Anthony in this mess? I think he was laid out on the floor. Here's Mitch Blake, the rage. He's got that baseball bat in his hands. Whose side is he on? Marco Anthony's back in the ring. Marco's been laid out. Blake helping Marco get to his feet. Lunatic celebrating. Blake just took down Marco with that bat. Blake is not on the side of Elite Payne at all. I'm so sick of seeing this guy. I'm putting him on to miss him. Hunter Payne has been laid out with that bat! No! He did it again! Hunter Payne's shoulder is being torn destroyed! Blake, the Asylum are trying to end the man's career! There's no end in sight! Blake trying to rip that arm out of its socket again! Hunter Payne with no help at all! Johnny Wilde just watches. Wilde is not on the side of these two, clearly. Blake has put damage to that man, and it's, this is unreal. Blake has laid out, now the former Southland champion. He might have just destroyed Elite Payne once and for all. Blake has laid out Hunter Payne. What a shocking conclusion to this event that was. Johnny Wild with the assist. The Lunatic wins the Southland title. Get down there and stop this man right now. Whoa, who's that? Exodus? The Executioner's here? Who is that man? He's come to the aid of Hunter Payne as he stands in front of Blake. Will he attack him? That's a big man, and a menacing force, too. And Blake actually backs down from that man. Exodus, the executioner, has stopped the insanity. Will we see another fight right here? Blake says no way. Is Blake part of the asylum? Oh, look at this. Exodus with that baseball bat. Fortunately for Hunter Payne, 
Exodus came to the rescue, but I think too much damage was already done to that right arm and shoulder. The former champion, Hunter Payne, might be seriously injured at the hands of the lunatic. And he might be lucky if he can just walk out of here without any medical attention after that kind of abuse. A sad moment for Elite Payne as they have fallen at the hands of the Asylum and have lost the CSW Southland Championship. Too little too late. What a shocking conclusion to the main event. Hunter Payne loses the title. The Asylum of the Lunatic have stolen the CSW Southland Heavyweight Championship.